What's going on guys? Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. Hope you all had a great new year. Mine was pretty quiet, we just stayed in and basically played some games and just chilled out for the night. But we're back in the workshop today. It's been a little while since I've been in the workshop and actually got any work done. It's a lot tidier than it is generally when you see a workshop video. It's normally me just tidying up in here and talking about things, but we are making some of these. I don't know if you remember these from last year, I will post a video up here. And these are the cream egg holders, uh, the bunny design that I originally made. These are the first ones that I did and I've sold hundreds and hundreds of these over the past few years. We hold these cream eggs. Just like so, it sits in there quite nicely and you can just pop it out. Uh, you can put a name on it, you can paint them out if you want. So in my last video, somebody actually said, have you not got a template to so just draw around and instead of putting the tape on and sticking it all down. And generally that's a bit slower for me. Um, in the past, that's how it's been, that's how it works out. It's a little bit slower, but we're gonna see how many we can fit on uh, a bit of MDF that I've actually got. It's just down below where the camera is. I'm gonna move the camera in a second and uh, we're going to draw around this, we're going to see how many I can get out of that piece. I am going to stick a link to this particular design. This is my own design, something I came up with five years ago now. Um, I'm going to stick this on my Ko-Fi page, so if you want to hit the link down below and head over to my Ko-Fi page, you can find that. If you do find the information in this video helpful, then give it a thumbs up. Maybe it'll reach somebody else and they can find this information helpful too. If you have watched a few of my videos now and you like what you see, then just hit that subscribe button. It always makes me super, super happy. Okay, so we've got this piece here. This is four foot long by one foot wide. Just a piece of scrap that I already had lying around. So I'm just gonna use this and see how many pieces I get out of it. And we're gonna time to see how long it takes for me to draw around all of these, cut it, get it over to the scroll saw, cut them all out, get everything finished. Should take me less than an hour. Um, it, it takes me around 45 minutes to get 15 out of the pine doing the tape and glue method and that way. So let's just see. For the eyes, I'm actually gonna cheat. I'm gonna use this. This is my Marksman marker. So rather than trying to get the pencil inside there and do the eye, I'm just gonna use my Marksman marker and just pop that in there. Right, there we go. So I got 14 out of this sheet. And uh, it's not too bad. I think when I go over to my laser later on, I'll probably measure this up and I'll do a few different dimensions and then I can array this to fit the best way possible because twisting it around and stuff, I might be able to fit more on. Uh, I'm not too sure, so we'll have to see about that. Uh, but this this will do for now. Uh, I'm going to go over to probably the scroll saw, and I'm going to cut this down into the into two individual ones, and then we'll drill the holes, the centers, and then we'll cut them all out on the scroll saw after that. So uh, let's head over there and make these down into manageable sizes for the scroll saw. Like I say, I'm just going to trim this down into more manageable sizes. Uh, we'll probably start just here and then cut them into twos individually. Mainly because the camera's there and I can't slide this much further that way. Try that again <laughs> because I hit the wall and I was going to hit into this one, so uh, we'll go from this side instead. Right, 
and snap a blade. This video is going awesome guys, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more quality content like this. It does however give me an opportunity to show you the scroll saw blades that I use, these are Pegas Modified Geometry Number 3 Reverse Skip. Uh, I get these in 12 packs from Axminster, um, I buy two or three at a time, uh, they usually last me a couple of months at the moment. When I'm doing lots and lots of scroll work, um, they, they last me a few weeks. But they're really good blades and I do enjoy cutting with them, really smooth cuts. And in most instances, really quick too. They do take a lot of abuse, these blades. Um, quite often use them for things that they shouldn't be used for, like um, the fillable boxes. I've got a video of those coming up. And that's 25mm MDF, 2-4mm MDF, and a 2mm Perspex. Uh, so all that stacked up together, it gets all cut together, and they actually cope quite well with that. I get about 12 of those cut out before the blade snaps, so it's pretty good. Right, third time lucky, let's see if we can get this cut. Oh my, what is happening today? Right, so I'm just going to get the rest of these cut up now and uh, then we'll head over to the drill press and we'll drill the holes in these. Right, so I've got all these cut out. I did actually cheat. I went over to the bandsaw and used the bandsaw to cut these out because it was a lot quicker. Which I should have done in the first place. Anyway, I'd have saved myself a couple of blades, wouldn't I? So we're going to swap out this drill bit, this 1.5mm drill bit that I've got in my mini chuck. If you've got a normal drill press and you need to fit small drill bits in, these mini chucks are absolutely brilliant. I'll stick a link to that down below. Um, they take any size drill bit to zero, zero. Um, absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna stick my seven mil bit in to do the eyes and I might as well do the entry hole with these. With the drill bit. We just set the depth. So what I like to do is I use the point and then I push that in to my scrap piece. Bring this round, lock it, and then that should be just touching that surface. You do want to try and have a scrap piece on here just to create less blowout at the back of your hole when you're drilling. So we're gonna get all these holes drilled and then we can get everything cut out. So as you see, you get very little break out at the back, a little sand, and that'll be perfect. So I'm gonna get the rest of these done and then we'll head over and cut them out. Okay, so all the holes are drilled. Sometimes you do get a bit of, bit of fuzziness on the back, but that's fine, um, I just take sanding block with some 120 grit on there. I do this anyway after drilling the holes because it is raised a little bit. Just helps it run smoother on the bed of the scroll saw. So just give it a quick go over. Any of the holes that aren't perfect we can start out later on while we're sanding but this is just to get it on the scroll saw for now. So. And there we go, I put them over that side because this, that's the way I like to work. Pick them up on that side, cut them out, and then I put them on this side. It's just my work pattern, it's how I work. You might do it the other way, it's entirely up to you. So we're gonna get the camera set up so you can get a fairly decent view of me cutting these out. I'm just gonna time lapse the whole cut out and um, hopefully it doesn't take too long because I've got to go and get ready for work soon in an hour. Uh, so yeah. Hopefully, less than an hour to cut out 14 of these. Should do, should take about two or three minutes, maybe each one, so should be good to go.
All right guys, so I didn't realize that the camera stops recording after 10 minutes. Uh, it's a new camera. I didn't really check the record time on there. So that's my fault. Um, I did get eight of these cut out. Uh, it took me roughly half an hour to get sorted. Um, I snapped another blade while I was cutting the first two out and I realized that the blade clamps underneath my scroll saw had slightly adjusted themselves over time. It's, it happens, there's a grub screw that goes from one side to the other and they clamp the blade like that. Um, what had happened is the one on the left had backed itself out and it was slightly on an angle. As the blade was moving up and down, it was catching on the little hole where the blade comes through. So that's what, that's what was causing the blades to break. I didn't break another blade while cutting the rest of them out, uh, so it's perfectly fine. As you can see on the back side of this, these haven't been sanded. This is straight off the scroll saw. Those blades leave a perfect finish and these are ready to go. They could do with a light sand on the front and back. Um, but again, you can use a sanding block. I'm gonna get my sander out and do that all in one go. These ones, I've already separated these. These ones are the ones that have got the little bit in the eye still. So I just take a rasp and just give it a little wiggle in there. And there we go. Light sand on the outside, just to smooth that off again, and it's good to go. So, in all, I'm quite happy with using the MDF. It takes a little bit longer than it does on the pine. But then again, if I hit a knot with the pine, then it can take forever. And it can really mess with the blade. Eight in half an hour, that's not too bad. That's 16 an hour I can get done with these. In total, it's probably an hour and a half to get 16 done uh, with the drawing around them and uh, just doing all the bits and pieces. It's probably a little bit quicker when I've not got a mess about setting the camera up and moving it around. So I would say I can probably get 16 an hour done. And obviously, if I've got somebody in the workshop helping me out, like a ch children or something, they can be drawing around these ones while I'm cutting other ones out and that increases my production time. Just things like that, just little things, bits and pieces, you can pull people in to help out. I might even teach the kids to scroll saw soon and they can have a go at making their own shapes and making their own little bits and pieces like that. All right guys, so that is it. That is me cutting these bunnies out. I'm sorry I didn't realize the camera cut out after 10 minutes or so while I was recording. So if you found anything in this video useful or entertaining, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want me to make more scroll saw videos, like um, introduction to scroll saws, setting it up, any tips and tricks and things like that, if you want any of that information, let me know down below. I'll make a video like that. I am planning on doing a video on how I started scrolling. Uh, I've still got my very first scroll saw, which was a discontinued scroll saw in the 70s, and it's terrible. But it's my first saw, it's how I started my whole business, and I've kept it. It's needs a bit of a dust off but it's still there so let me know if you want a video like that let me know down below and i'll definitely make one if you really do like this content then please consider subscribing it really does help out the channel grow and it makes me super super happy so thanks for watching guys i'll catch you in the next video